hiking out of the Utah backcountry right now. Um, man, that was rough last night. I, you know, missed six times on that buck and dang near emptied my quiver. Um, woke up this morning, I have one arrow left, hunted a little bit, found some cool bucks, but just didn't get any plays on them. Um, decided we're gonna pull out today instead of tomorrow. Just because now I gotta go back home and get more arrows and broadheads and I really wanna go shoot my bow at the range just to kind of build some confidence back up uh, before I leave for a bear hunt uh, in like two days. So, uh, and then I got another Colorado mule deer tag and black bear tag after that. So, this was awesome. I, I'm definitely addicted to the high country mule deer thing now. It's unreal, so. I uh, can't wait to be back, but time to go get something gross to eat. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. This was, this hunt has been a roller coaster. Um, I've messed up so many times on this thing. Missed a whole bunch in Utah. And then to come here with my brother and pack into the Colorado backcountry in somewhere we've never been before, find bucks and play the chess match that is this archery mule deer hunting is just priceless. I, I'm. I'm beside myself. I mean, I'm so stoked with this buck. I found him, so I waited 30 minutes while he sat there and raked his velvet off and ate it. I had no shot. And then he bedded down and it started hailing and he got hit with hail, which made him stand up out of his bed and I got a, and I, and I got a shot. So, 2019 high country mule deer. Here we go. Freaking awesome. Back straps, cheeseburgers, ice cream. It's all coming. <laughs>